<laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, we're, we're getting better. Obviously, I mean, we got a few more bumps and bruises today, so we'll see how that, uh, you know, those come back, see how that affects the game with the game plan. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, so you got to respond to those challenges. We got guys that are going to need to step up in different positions that maybe they started the weekend uh, in order to, to fix that and uh, get ready to roll versus a team that, you know, it's the second longest win streak in college football. So we got to get, we got to get our crap together and get ready to go play. How do you balance kind of making the adjustments that you talked about after the Oklahoma State game with getting guys maybe adjusted to also playing some different positions throughout the week? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's really an impossible task to say you can do both. All you can do is do the best you can do when you're short weeks now to kind of move a guy in position. So it just shows the guys and how we coach and teach is you have to be able to learn different positions uh, throughout the year. So this may be a position that you repped, you know, 10% of the time or 15% of the time as opposed to 85% of the time. So this really shows, you know, the prep that you put in up to this point and how, how serious you were in that prep and learning the big picture scheme, not just your job. How much does the everything that you guys are building here come from the competitive mindset? So how does that kind of program that you're trying to build with that competition? Yeah, no, ex no excuses, extreme ownership. Nobody really gives a crap about your problems, right? It's you versus you every single day. Go out there and be the very best you can be and get better every single day. It's literally that simple. From now until forever, that's the challenge. That's it. Extreme ownership, go to the best you can do every single day, get better. Success is getting better every single day, whatever you do. How are people responding to that message, especially after a lot? Yeah, I think they are. I think there's, you know, there's a little bit, you still have that, you've got to learn how to lose in order to win. You gotta learn how to take failure just as much as you gotta learn how to, you know, handle success. There's two sides of it. So I think early in the week, you know, some Monday, early and Tuesday, our guys gotta learn how to get out of the funk, right? We have some guys that were still in a funk, and that's part of the process of growth. And I think they're starting to get out of that funk, right? But we gotta get better at getting out of that funk quicker. Like I had to lose more than anybody. Right? Like I was the one that didn't sleep at all Saturday night. But it doesn't matter. That doesn't do anything moving forward. Right? I wish I could sleep. I wish I could get over it. That's something I need to get better at because it doesn't help not. right. But us as a football team, right? I did see a little bit of growth Tuesday-ish about when we hit the field, which was better than how we you know, showed up on a Monday. So I thought there was a little bit of response there Tuesday. And I think the guys have put in a good week of work. And I think they've come out here and communicated. They've done the same thing that they've done in weeks prior, getting some voluntary stuff. I've seen guys around the office, so it's been good. Mo said that uh, yesterday that he thinks the offensive leadership will come kind of lost. What's your sense of just kind of the pulse of that right now? Yeah, I think uh, I think he's right in terms of it is coming along with different guys in different moments. People are trying to figure out, uh, you know, when they should lead, how they should lead. You mentioned you like the energy, the leadership, uh, and the leadership from the defensive side. To see BJ go out there and set the tone with the sack, getting two. Uh, last week, what did that say about kind of his growth and his leadership on that side? Yeah, he's putting the work every single day. He puts in the work. He has a mindset uh, that he's that do. And football is about a mindset. It's about really life is about a mindset that you're not going to fail. Like nothing can stop me from achieving what I am going to achieve. I'm going to set a direction for what I'm going to achieve, and I'm going to achieve it. And that's a guy who set out that he was going to going to achieve things this year, and he worked every single day. He didn't say, oh, I want that goal or that vision, so I'm just going to get it. He went every single day to work to achieve it, and now he's reaping what he sowed. And uh, it's really cool to see him have that success early. Now he's got to sustain it and continue to build throughout the year. It seems like he's got an energy that's contagious too. An energy he does. play makes He does. He has a passion about him that's contagious. Perfect. Thank you all. Thanks, Coach.